Hi guys, welcome to the video. No. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. I know this one's a little bit different from my channel, but this is an Etsy haul. I actually picked up some planner supplies to go along with my new Louis Vuitton medium ring agenda, which is also equivalent to the personal size Filofax agenda. So I actually have the unboxing of my Louis Vuitton agenda on my channel. I will link it below in case you are interested. So I just wanted to show you what I picked up from Etsy and then... That'll be it. So the first shop that I picked up from was called Planning Inspired. So these are the monthly inserts for 2020 and these are the weekly inserts for 2020. So really quick, I will go ahead and open them up. So the paper feels nice. And basically it is just, it starts with April because that's, you know, I ordered these in March. So that is what they look like. I think they are super cute. I did the Sunday start because that, for me, that's how I like my calendar to start, which is Sunday. But then my weekly inserts, I like to start on Monday. I know it's kind of weird, but I guess because I'm so used to seeing a calendar look like this, that anytime I've ever done like a Monday start, I get all mixed up and I end up putting things on the wrong day. So it's basically, it's literally just back to back, you know, with the months. So that is those inserts. Then I will quickly open up the weekly for you. So again, it starts with April. The paper feels really nice, high quality. And I actually decided to go with a vertical layout this time. So in my Erin Condren planner, I use the horizontal layout. But I have found that I end up doing like my to-dos in like a list format. So half the time I'm using the horizontal, but I have like two little lists going because there's only so many lines on the horizontal. So I thought maybe I would go ahead and give vertical a try. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I will feel about it because I've never done like vertical planning, but I do think this is going to be perfect because, you know, for like list making, it, it makes more sense to have like the vertical layout. And I like how there's a little notes section so you can put maybe like your major things for the week. So I, overall, I really think that these are cute. I love the font. I think it's just, I don't know, I think it's really cute. So let me jump, we'll jump to see how it goes from, so basically it just goes continuous. So now we're in April to May. Oh, okay. So then there is a May divider so you'll know exactly when the months are so that is those overall the shipping did not take too long um they were not as fast as the other shop i ordered from but i think that these are really nice and they come pre punched which is fantastic so those are from planning inspired i will link her shop below and i will also link the specific things that i picked up below then the next shop i got from is called dear planner i was highly highly impressed with this shop literally i placed the order like the night before next day it was shipped out and i received it a couple days later so i picked up a bunch of things from this shop overall i found this shop to have like the great the best prices for the inserts and they just had a majority of the things that i was looking for so we have the first one is the payment tracker i am going to be trying a new budgeting method i plan on doing some like plan with me type videos so you can see how i set things up but one thing I didn't even realize was that she literally has like the a bunch of these for an entire year. So I won't need to buy this tracker again for years. And it is front and back. I probably, I might end up doing like my fixed bills on one side and maybe like my um, variable expenses on one. I don't know how I'm going to set them up yet, but the paper feels very nice. I think it's the same as what the other shop uses because they feel super similar. So this is the first thing I got. Then I picked up some debt trackers just to have for some, you know, my, I think I only have like one, one debt thing, so I'm not going to need all of these, but again, it's nice to have so that if, if I need to go on to like, you know, f like let's say I fill up the one page before the debt is paid off, I have the backside and I have multiples, so I thought these were really, really nice, and I like how it's literally just what the debt is, the starting balance, and the minimum payment, and then I can, you know, each time I make a payment, the amount, balance, it's, it's just simple, you know, I like it to be simple, I didn't need any frills. 
Next we have the savings tracker and I'm basically going to be using these for different things. So like maybe in the goals section I'll put what what I'm like let's say I'm saving for a new car, right? I'll put new car and then I can put whatever amount I'm striving for and then, you know, it's again start end all that. It's just date, amount, balance. It's very very simple, but I think it's perfect. There's nothing that I won't use on this sheet. Then we have the spend tracker. I really want to start tracking the things that I spend and one thing I really really liked about these was that it has like obviously date, description, amount, but it has a column for, let me try to get you a closer look, it, whether you use cash, credit card, or debit. I really really like this because you'll be able to see like what do you use credit for, what do you use debit for. So I think that this was a really really nice um, print, uh, insert. I am really excited to use this. I want to get better about writing down what I'm spending because I think that is a good way to track your finances and track like where your money is going. It's very easy to just fork over cash or your card and not really pay attention to what it is that you're actually spending. So that is that. Then I picked up two of the check register um, inserts. Now Previously, for my sinking funds, I was tracking using just like literally a checkbook register. I picked up some on Amazon. That is how I was tracking because then you can track like what you spent or if you withdrew, added, whatever. Now I realize that since I have the savings trackers, I may not do my sinking funds that way. But we shall see how I decide to set up my budget. I was previously using stickers from Caffeinated Kate in an, in an Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly, but honestly, that is getting to be pretty tedious to constantly have to be setting it up. I mean, I like doing the setup, but I just kind of want to have like, I just want to have all my finance stuff in one place and just have it to be a little bit more easier for me to set up and use. And then I don't have to keep buying stickers every month, even though I love the stickers from her shop. But we will see how I end up using these. I may, I don't know, I might, I don't know, we'll see how I end up setting it up. Then I have this weekly planner insert. So uh, the main reason I got this was because I want to use this for my work planning. Normally for my job I just write down on my desk calendar at work the things I need to do, but I really like how this has like a priorities, a to-do, and then each day. So I kind of want to start tracking my work stuff like this. This one came with, it's front and back, so it'll get me through quite a bit of weeks. So then I can see do I enjoy planning this way or do I want to stick to the other way I was planning for work but I really just think that this would be nice for work planning. Then I did a insert, I did the year overview insert because I would like to be able to just, it's nice to just have the year at a glance and what I didn't realize was that this actually came, comes with other things. I thought when I was buying it that it was just this. I guess I should have read a little bit more into it. So it's just the 2020 overview. Then you have your holidays and notable days which is nice because, I don't know, it's nice to have all these things written down somewhere. Then what is this? Oh, I guess it's, oh, okay. So this is like a smaller version of the year at a glance. Then you have a little bit bigger, so it's on two pages versus one. And then you have this, which is a fold out which I think this is nice because if you wanted to maybe do like habit tracking or something, that would be great to do on here because it's just, you know, all of it. So I thought that was nice. And then another one. Oh, this, oh, this would be good for habit tracking too. So I don't know, I might not use these, but again, I didn't even realize that it came with it. I thought I was just buying this. So it was kind of a nice little bonus when I opened this up. Then I picked up these little like half sheets, which I thought this would be perfect for doing to-dos because I can just stick it on the week or whatever and I can put down some notes or, you know, a lot of times from like my grocery shopping, I will just write it down on a piece of paper and then throw it out. So I thought this was nice to have, you know, to put during the week throughout the planner. What I might do is cut like slits in this so I don't have to constantly open up the rings and close the rings. And then when I'm done with whatever, you know, if I'm done with it, I just tear it out and be done with it. So that is really cute. Love it. 
Then I did the wish list insert because I want to start maybe tracking some of my bigger wish list items. That way, you know, if I really want something, I can write it down and then it helps me to stop and think about the item too. And then if I end up picking it up, I can check it off. And this is good for like if people ask me for like what I want for my birthday or something, I have like a running list of things. But it does come with quite a few sheets, so that's nice. Then I picked up these like to do check checkbox list papers. I don't know exactly what I will use these for, but thought they'd be fun to have and, you know, play around with. Maybe even for like grocery shopping or just like if I have a really busy week, I can write down on here. So we'll see how this works out. And then she also included just some blank pages, which I thought was really nice because she also put on here, you can do pen tests. And that is great because I can test the different pens that I have and see like if it will bleed through or how it writes on there. So I thought that was a really nice little thing to include. So that is it for my Etsy haul. I'm so far really excited to get to use these items. I can't wait to set up my planner. I think that these are going to be great and it's going to be fun to try a new planning system. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!